You're watching the Motorola Moto G Fast Disassembly. First, let's remove the SIM tray. Next, we need to heat up the back plate using a hairdryer or a heat gun to loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then we're gonna use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. Once you have your back plate loose from your frame, pull the back plate towards you from the right to the left because you have to be careful the fingerprint reader cable is still attached to the main board. At this point, you have 18 Phillips screws that need to be removed. Once the screws are removed, we can lift up and remove the top cover. Here's a better look at that top cover. You have some antenna lines running through it, these gray lines. And just to let you guys know, the camera lenses over here, they can be removed by just applying heat and prying them off. They're held on with adhesive. So if you ever break those, you don't really need to take the entire phone apart. You could just heat them up and pry the black part off. Here's the back side and your flash is over here, that small board that your flash is attached to. All right, next, before we do anything else, we wanna disconnect the battery cable. Now we can disconnect the fingerprint reader. So your back plate is plastic and you have some graphite film over here on the top portion as well as some over here on the bottom corner and this graphite film helps transfer heat now we can go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables you have two wire cables over here you have to disconnect one black one and one white one at this point we can lift up and remove the main board So here's a better look at your main board. You have some copper tape over here. Your headphone jack is located here with a rubber gasket around it. You also have a small thermal pad over here that sits underneath the flash. You have a liquid damage indicator sticker located over here and underneath it, you have your secondary mic. And if you need to replace or disconnect your cameras, all you need to do is just pop them off and they disconnect like that. Here's the other side of the board. You have some thermal paste over here and over here on the shield. Your SIM slots located over here and your front-facing camera connectors over here. Removing the shield on the back reveals some thermal paste over here and over here. And this is your Qualcomm chip right here. Next, we're gonna remove the speaker assembly on the bottom. Here's a better look at that. You have an antenna line running through it over here. Here's the other side. You have another liquid damage indicator located here. And here's the speaker itself. You have two wire cables on the charger port board you need to disconnect. Just pop them off. You also have a flex cable over here you need to disconnect. And you have one Phillips screw over here you need to remove. Once the screw is removed, we can just lift up and remove the charger port board. Here's a better look at that. Your primary microphone is located right here. Here's your charger port covered by a rubber gasket. And here's the other side. Now when it comes to replacing the battery, it's definitely not an easy process since there's no easy pull tabs. So you're just gonna have to heat the adhesive up underneath the battery by heating the front side of the phone where the screen is so you can loosen up the adhesive. And then you're gonna use a plastic pry tool to gently pry the battery off. It's gonna take you some time because the adhesive underneath the battery is really strong. So here's a better look at your battery. Just make sure when you're taking your battery off, you're careful and you try not to damage the battery or pierce it because then you risk the chance of it catching fire. Here's the other side. So at this point, you're left with the mid frame. You have your vibrator motor located over here. You have a flex cable over here for your buttons. You have your earpiece speaker up here on top. And this flex cable over here, which is routed through the mid frame is for your proximity sensor on the front. So if you ever had to replace the buttons or the proximity sensor over here, you would actually have to pry the screen off as well so you can gain access to that. And if you ever have to replace your screen, your screen cable is located right here and it's routed through the slit over here in the mid frame. So you'd have to take your phone apart entirely and then you'd have to heat the front of the phone where the screen is so you can loosen up the adhesive around the edges and then you'd pry your screen off. 
and then you get a new screen, run the cable back through over here where the opening is in the midframe, and then apply it to the front of the phone and reassemble the phone. And this flex cable over here connects your main board to your sub board over here on the bottom, which is your charger port board. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put the phone back together. Once all your screws are back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply your back plate. Flip your phone over, power it on, and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.